गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ एस्ट्रोलॉजर अनिल अग्रवाल टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द वैक्सीन यू नो आई हैव बीन राइटिंग ऑन वैक्सीन एंड कोरोना वायरस फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम एवर सिंस सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन आई हैट द वायरस विल कम फ्रॉम चाइना नाउ नो यू सी द डिसम्बर मंथ इज मोस्ट एनिकमेटिक फॉर द सिंपल रीजन दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द Jupiter is changing in Navamsha. Jupiter was Virgotam till 8th of December and a Virgotam planet is considered to be as if he is in a Mootrikona sign and Jupiter is a planet for Jiva. So Jupiter is a very important planet for as far as the the cure for um, the human kind is concerned. And then the next planet is Mars. Mars is in the sign of Jupiter. and mars is fallen it had gone in aries and it is fell back in uh, pisces and it will be reaching gandanta so it is not good and then you know the eclipse is taking place on the 14th of december and the luminaries sun and moon will be at 29 degrees again in gandanta and there will be a planetary war between jupiter and saturn on the on the 21st of december so friends and rahu is adverse i have been mentioning i have written an article on rahu also north node that from the 1st of december till 30th of december 28 days he is going to be in adverse motion you know from 10th to 17th he is going to be stationary so you know any vaccine which comes during this period may not give 100% results and there will be some side effects so in the interest of the mankind the vaccine should be launched only after 24th of december when mars goes in aries sign and is in ashwini nakshatra till 13 degrees 20 minutes so friends this is what i just wanted to say this is a very important transit and you have seen i have also written about the rahu you know rahu is surasuram rog harnam and ketu is rog karnam it means that rahu is amrit and it's brings out the diseases from the body and it all depends how rahu is placed then if it is placed well then the diseases will be cured but ketu is a planet which brings diseases and you have seen on the 26th of december 2019 when that eclipse took place ketu was in the eclipse and ketu is disease karka very simple it's crystal clear and then the six planets six to seven planets in the sign sagittarius and the sign sagittarius is also very precarious why it is precarious because sun stays there only for 29 days as against it stay for 30 31 days in the other rashis and then if you remember the mahabharata had also taken place in the sign sagittarius so friends uh, this is all just i wanted to share that the vaccine should come after the 24th of december and if they come if they are launched before after 24th of december the we could expect better results but Jupiter will be afflicted. Jupiter will be afflicted in the sign Capricorn. So after, by and large, if you see that when Jupiter overtakes Saturn after the fifth of April two thousand twenty, we could feel little relaxed. We could feel little better. We could get a ease from the coronavirus. But comparing it with the Spanish flu, till Rahu goes in Aries and Ketu goes in Libra. and in the nakshatra rahu goes in the nakshatra of Ma, uh, ketu and ketu goes in the nakshatra of rahu i don't think we will get total relief total relief means even after april 2021 we could have you know corona virus it may remain it may remain well in 2021 and slowly and slowly because of medical advancement and if the vaccines are successful if they are launched after 24th of december but still they can have some limitation because jupiter will be also afflicted but mars is the planet for cure and it if in the fiery sign it gets very good results and especially in the ashwini nakshatra so friends and the other thing what i was talking i had predicted about the farmers agitation and the i had predicted that up between the 10th and 17th it can take an ugly shape and you have seen for yourself there is no you know <coughs> uh, no 
uh, what do you call any patch up between the government and the, the farmers and even the doctors are going on strike so friends this is a very ugly period i had said that we can compare it to the, the 6th december 1992 babri masjid time the planetary positions are somewhat identical and we have seen for ourselves the type of protest and agitation which are taking place in the country and then the side effects it has been uh, the media has also said that there are side effects of the corona virus vaccine and uh, since the time right now is not good as i mentioned till this period we may not experience a total relief from corona virus and the vaccines may also not work 100% they may work only 90% 92% 95% it all depends and then it depends upon person to person so friends this is all just i wanted to say that the most important planets in the month of december are first of all the jupiter going in debilitation and at the debilitation point it is getting uh, uh, meeting up uh, with Jup uh, with saturn in a planetary war it is losing in planetary war then in the <coughs> eclipse on the 14th of december at 29 degrees and immediately after 24th of december mars will be aspecting you know by eighth aspect ketu where the eclipse has taken place in the nakshatra uh, jyestha and luminaries are in gandanta so it is very bad and then rahu is in adverse motion jupiter loses in planetary war and then sun going in the sign sagittarius all this is not good this indicates that we will have some repercussions of the vaccines they may not work 100% ever as i have already mentioned but there will be definitely some relief because the vaccines will definitely give some relief because <coughs> you know mars is about to go in aries sign and after aries sign it goes in aries sign it will definitely give some relief so this is all i just wanted to say that the month of december is extremely enigmatic and venomous and for the vaccines if they should they should be launched only considering the best time frame is only after the 24th of december 2020 so friends this is all i just wanted to share and have a good day and bye bye